great call. True Cold Pro 2 electric airless sprayer really is a self-contained unit that eliminates the need for a compressor. This kit includes everything you see here. You also get a 15 foot long power cord that eliminates the need for a lot of extension cords. That makes this sprayer even easier to use in more situations. This dial controls the amount of pressure that this gun develops. That lets you fine tune the pressure for the type of material being sprayed and where you're spraying it. The gun comes equipped with a tip that's meant for most common latex and enamel paints. Other tips are available for other types of materials. Spray tips are going to clog at some point and that can be a problem. But with this one, you just flip this handle back, pull the trigger and it uses the gun's pressure to clear the nozzle. We'll show you this in action a little later. The grip on this gun fits the handle very well and it makes using this sprayer a lot more comfortable. To keep the paint flowing at a lot of different angles, they include this weighted siphon pickup. The screen at the bottom is just another protection against lumps. You get a supply of little plastic bags that are used as liners for the paint cup, and this is a really good idea. Just open one up and put it down inside the container. If you're working alone, that rubber band you see helps prevent the bag from falling down inside when you're pouring the paint in. And notice that the paint is at its original thickness. We don't thin it for use with this sprayer. Then we just screw the container onto the gun and make sure that it's sealed. To get the paint started up into the gun, we lift this lever into the priming position and then squeeze the trigger for about 10 seconds. Then put the lever back down. I tried spraying on some cardboard first to make sure everything was working right, but I didn't think you'd want to see that. What you can see is how quickly this thing covers. You have to get used to adjusting the pressure for the material and moving your hands slowly to apply the material evenly. This is an old weathered pipe cover on my house. You can imagine what it would be like to try and paint this with a brush. The sprayer just covers everything up. The instruction manual has suggestions for pressure setting for different materials. I used that setting for this paint and it seemed to work very well. And you can see that I'm still learning that I could slow down a little bit while moving the gun. It really doesn't take long to learn and you can see when you're doing it right. Here I tried shooting the edges of this piece to make sure that those were covered well before I painted the face. That was the best plan I could come up with at the moment, but it really did work pretty well. I was worried about overloading the face of this piece with paint, but it's so easy to control with this gun that that didn't happen. And the same technique works on inside edges as well. And I really like this part. Notice how well this paints into corners. You don't get a lot of paint blowback and missing the corners like you do with other spray guns. I just shot the inside corners and then coated out the rest of the piece and it came out perfect. One of the reasons this piece never got painted was because of the problem you could see with all of the inside edges that had to be painted. With this spray gun that's not a problem at all. Plus the paint itself and the color is even all over the piece and there's no brush marks. Although it never did during our evaluation, if the tip should clog up in this gun, you flip this lever 180 degrees and pull the trigger to use the gun's pressure to clear the valve. Flip that lever back to normal and then go back to spraying. It's that easy. And when you get done, you just dump the remaining material back into the can. Remember that plastic bag lining the cup? Well, it's going to have a lot of paint left in it, so you can take that out, and you can work the paint out of it like you do an old toothpaste tube. That bag keeps your cup clean, but it also means there's a lot less waste. For cleanup, you use a solvent that's compatible with the paint you were spraying. In this case, we were using latex, so we cleaned it up with clear water. The kit includes some fluid that protects the gun when it's not in use, and you put that in after you're done cleaning it. Then you just wipe it down and put it away. So if you hate painting with a brush, but don't want to buy a big compressor, you need to check out the True Cold Pro 2 Electric Handheld Airless Sprayer from Rockler.